guys, welcome back. So today I did a brand new video using the Morphe 35R palette. I love this palette. This is like right up my alley. It is like all browns and it has like a side of mattes and a side of shimmers. It is so pretty. I think I like this one more than the 35O. The 35O is more like orangey. This is more like neutrally browny orangey, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so if the lighting is a little bit off, I'm sorry. I tried to figure out this new background and the lighting was kind of off and the color was kind of off. I tried my best to keep it looking as normal as possible. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. All right, starting off with a clean face, I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer Oil. I love this stuff. I'm just putting it all over my fingertips and I'm rubbing it into my skin just to prime my skin so we have a nice even base and so it's nice and glowy. Then taking the Urban Decay All Lighter Foundation, just one pump and I'm putting this all over my skin with my Dampened Beauty Blender just to make sure that my skin is nice and even all around my face and putting it on my ears as well, just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna be taking my concealer. This is the Tarte Mer no. Oh, this is not the Maracuja. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And as you can see, it got a little bit orange here. I'm sorry. I'm working on the lighting with this backdrop. But this backdrop, it's just a little bit off. Taking a not dampened beauty blender, taking a dry beauty blender. I like to use a dry beauty blender with this concealer. I think it does a better job blending it out. And setting it with my Kat Von D banana shade underneath my eyes. Everywhere where we put the concealer on a Sigma, which one is this? F35 tapered highlighter brush. I love this to set under my eyes because it's nice and pointed, but it like gets everywhere, you know? Next, taking my Sigma Brow Duo in the color Medium. I'm just taking this Tarte brush. I love this brush for my eyebrows. It gives a nice precise line and just really does a really good job. And I'm just filling in my brows because I need my brows filled in basically like at all times. If I'm going anywhere, I always fill my brows in even if I don't put any other makeup on. Next, taking this new palette, the Morphe 35 F, I think is what it's called. I said it in the beginning of the video. I don't remember. Um, and I'm just taking my Sigma E40 blending brush and this kind of cool toned um, brown eyeshadow and I'm putting this in the crease and then taking this mustardy color on my Sigma E25 brush and I'm packing it all over the lid as you can see and then I'm going to go in and it tilt my brush to the side and blend it more into the crease of my eye making sure that it is a nice transition into that first color that we had so once there's like no other product on the brush I really blend in there making sure it's nice and blended into that first transition shade. Next, picking up a Sigma E35 and this kind of reddish brown. I want to put this a little bit more into the outer V and into the crease. Now, I want to make sure it's once again nice and blended between all the other shades that we put on and then just pecking on some more of that lid color. Then taking that dark reddish shade on a Sigma E30 pencil brush. I'm just putting that right underneath my eye and then taking a Sigma E... I'm not sure which one this is. E20, E25 maybe? I don't remember. Um, and just blending out with that mustardy shade and then just taking the lightest color and putting it in my inner tear ducts on my Sigma E20 brush. Then taking this new mascara. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This is the Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara. I think it's one of my new favorites. It is so good. It makes my lashes look so wispy and so like fake-like that, oh my god, I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it almost every day that I got after I've gotten it, and I haven't been wearing, like, anything else other than that. Oh my god, it's so good. You need to try it. I'm not sure if it's out yet, but oh, you need to go get it. Then taking a Tarte, uh, this is a Too Faced bronzer. I will leave the name of it down below. I think this is the Sunny Bunny bronzer on my Sigma E10 powder powder blush brush and I'm just putting it everywhere that I like to be bronzed so basically everywhere as you know around the perimeter of my face underneath my jaw underneath my chin and kind of in my cheekbones and then I'll take my Sigma E77 brush just to do the sides of my nose because I want my nose to look a little bit slimmer not saying that I have a big nose but I like to give it just a little bit of contour then taking the Becca wild honey blush on my Sigma E40 brush um, with I can't I can't confusing myself with brush and blush and just putting this all over my cheeks then taking my Sigma no this is my Sigma E03 brush with my oh my god this is my favorite highlighter ever this is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion highlight in the color 2 I think this is my all-time favorite highlighter it is so so good now taking my lip shade, this is my stripped down lip liner by MAC and I'm just lining my lips. I'm not going to fill it in and I am just slightly over lining my lips. And then I'm going to be taking two of the new or new-ish liquid lipsticks from MAC. I will leave the names of them down below. They are very neutral and I'm absolutely obsessed. 